Wow, what's up everybody? Once again, it's Fred, man, Sean, and today we're going to talk about a few things that could help you figure out what your brand is. Because everybody doesn't have a super clear vision from the beginning, like someone like, let's say, Lil Yachty. Lil Yachty had the hair, the red hair from the very beginning, decided to capitalize off of that, and he knew that he wanted to target teens specifically in one day, transition into movies. And that's something he's actually in the process of doing. If y'all don't know, Lil Yachty's supposed to be Green Lantern in the upcoming Teen Titans movie, which is gonna be interesting. And then you have people like Travis Scott who create this vivid world and a lot of people around him have said he had that strong vision for the world he wanted to create from the beginning. So if that's not you, here are a few steps. Let's hop into it. Figure out what matters to you at the core. Do you want to be known for your music or do you want to be known for your aesthetic, some kind of character you create? It's not that you can't have both at the end of the day, but we're talking about the very beginning, which one matters to you at the very most your personality as an artist or your music as an artist. Now, if you look at an artist like her, people pretty much don't even know how she looks. That is a very music heavy brand. It's so far to the extreme on that side. Then you have people like Lil Yachty, like I mentioned earlier, that's very face driven. He does have music that people like and love, but it's very much so that personality over a lot of other things. And once again, if you look at somebody like Travis Scott, it's very much so the world and aesthetic, that entire environment he creates. So you have to figure out what you're trying to do. Are you trying to create some kind of world? Are you trying to be a face? Are you trying to be music first? Whatever that is, start to think about small things like that. And even within music, do you want to be known for your melodies? Do you want to be known for your lyrics? Do you want to be known for the energy you bring? Start figuring out a few basic things that you feel like matter to you most and don't necessarily go towards picking something that you just think sounds good. And why this is so important is for one, your brand's not gonna be perfect from day one. And one of the primary reasons this is so important is because your brand is not gonna be perfect from day one. And there's so many facets to the brand, you confuse yourself if you don't just keep it simple. So if you know you're about creating this specific world, then you know you're gonna attract people. You want to look for people who are interested in that world and wanna be a part of that experience. And if you consider yourself a lyricist, you know you're gonna look for people who like lyrics. These are the things, whatever you choose your core to be, that's going to be the thing where you have the most quality control because that's the core of your brand, meaning that's got the core of your fans. Outside of that, everything else can be developed over time. There might be one, two, maybe three, but I would say, especially from a beginner, this is your day one, figure out two things maybe that you really want to put energy in and focus on and just keep building those and bettering those and proving that quality everything else will come to the fold. And remember, there's a lot of different cores out there. You also have humor driven artists like Lil Dicky. There's so many different things that you can choose as your core. It doesn't have to be the traditional, oh, I'm a lyricist or oh, I'm uh, a hype artist or whatever. Now what you don't wanna do is pick something super broad like positivity. Positivity is like saying millennials or I'm targeting people 18 to 30 years old. Yeah, but there's so many different nuances to being 18 to 30 years old. One, some people are college students, some people didn't go to college, some people are into hip hop, some people are in the country. You can't just target that broad thing. When you say positivity is my niche, there's a lot of different type of people who are positive, right? There's positive people who like country, there's positive people who like hip hop. Okay, even between positive hip hop people, there's different styles. So understand that when you pick a niche, make sure it defines people outside of just the term. The term sounds good, but if you really don't understand what those people really look like, what they like, what their self narrative is for how they like to live and things like that, then you probably haven't figured out a niche. Once again, those are just a lot of things. I hope I didn't confuse you when I said those things, but start at the core, figure one or two things out that are important to you build the rest over time. You'll figure out the rest over time. Don't even try to figure them out by, you know, sitting in some kind of room, studying branding and all that kind of stuff. Let the rest of them come to you as you grow your audience and get more experience and naturally just lean towards certain directions or get certain feedback from audiences. And then you double down into what you think that people like from you and you see that people like from you. If of course it's actually authentic to you because sometimes we do stuff once and people like it, but we probably don't want to do it again and don't want to make a whole career out of it. You know what I mean? 
So other than that, I would love to hear you guys' thoughts in the comments. I'll hop in the comments as well. Other than that, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you like it, you might as well share it. And if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.